everybody, Joe Patty here. And tonight I want to show you something I made, and I'm going to show you how to make another one, only in silver. I made my own gold leaf background here. I spray painted this black first, and then I put black resin on it, and then I spray painted the gold on top, and I took my paintbrush and I dabbed it around. And it dried beautifully and it cured wonderfully, and you make your own homemade gold leaf, and this would make a wonderful background for something. It's turned out very nice. Very, very pretty. All right, now let's get started. I'm going to show you how I did it. All right, everybody, I want to talk just for a second about the other one and what I'm doing here. The last one I did, um, I did when Doris was here. We had fun, and uh, it was the, the one I just showed you. I put, uh, I spray painted it black first, and then I used a black resin on top, and then I spray painted it gold. And tonight, I spray painted this one like a real pretty blue, a sea blue. But I'm doing it different this time. Instead of putting blue resin on it and then spray painting it silver, I've decided to mix up some clear resin and I put some sparkles in there. Some of my extra fine silver glitter. And I used just a smidget, and I mean just a smidget, I'll show you here, of my Primary Elements Jade, African Jade. And I probably put about that much in there. I just wanted to tint it a little bit. I didn't want a full-blown color. And I mix that up. I'm going to pour that on there, and I'm going to spread it out, and then we're going to spray paint, y'all. We're going to spray paint and have some fun. All right, this is just about ready. And I wanted to tell you, I'm using my Ligari art resin tonight. Okay, now in the past, I've always used Ligari's uh, countertops and flooring epoxy. And I like that a lot. It's thicker, and the bubbles pop on their own. Pop, pop, fizz, fizz, like uh, Elka Seltzer, and I like that. And it does that in the art resin. However, there is a difference. The art resin is more newer to the market of theirs, and uh, it's a lot thinner. It spreads really fast, and it spreads really thin. However, uh, I still don't take heat to it. I don't have to heat it up or pop the bubbles. And I'm going to tell you, this one I showed you earlier, it dried and cured beautifully there's not a not a little bubble or mark on it you know and that's I, I didn't have to put any flood coat on it that's just layer one anyway but I didn't have to put a flood coat on it if I didn't want to if I didn't need to but I will it because uh, that's layer one and I'm gonna do three layers on that one okay now let's see what this turns out like everybody I mixed up six ounces of my art resin it's two to one of my Ligari's art resin and here we go. Spread it around a little bit here like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to do a snow queen on here. I'm not going to use it all because maybe I'll make a little bumblebee out of that. We'll see. I might need it. I might not. All right. Now, I got lovely out. This, I call it lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> I'm going to blow the dust off of her. With my handy dandy ultra air duster. Now, let's see how uh, lovely is in action. It's just lovely, y'all. Lovely, lovely. I love it. You get to spread it out without worrying about it. Now, I did want to tell you guys this is just a piece of wood, one foot by two foot. I got it up there at the hardware store. And when I spray painted it, because I spray paint outside uh, this full coverage on this one, because I put two coats on, and I spray painted it outside, and uh, of course, you know, I get little gnats in there and stuff like that, but that's okay, because well, don't try to pick it up. Wait till it dries. Wait till spray paint dries, and then you can just go like that, and it comes off. I'm especially not worried about it, because this is just a background for me. This is a, like layer one, so... I'm not too worried about anything here. I'm just spreading it out as we go, getting it out there. Isn't it cool? There we go. Now, let me show you. I'll show you how I clean lovely, too. So I always just put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the side. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just putting rubbing alcohol there. And I'm dipping that in. Dipping lovely in there, spinning it around. 
if you can't see this, and I'll check the video later, if you can't see this, what I'm doing, I'll go ahead and show you again at the end of this video when this piece is dry. All right, now, lovely gets put away for tonight. <laughs> and I'm going to get out my little brush. So I'm going to get my edges here. Okay, so now, there's a little bug right there. I got loose gnats in the house. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay. So now I can see, because I look at an angle, I'm looking, and I want to get the edges, and it will self-level, but I do like to cover these edges a little bit more. But I'm not too worried, like I said, because this is layer one, and it will level out anyway, but uh, I like to go around and try to get as much coverage as I can. And then also, I was going to tell you, I take the brush like this, and I go around the edge like that, because see, then that kind of puts it on there, you know? Once I kind of get a lot gathered on the brush, I'm going to fold back in. Okay, now I'm going to go and put this brush in a cup like this with some rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to rinse it. But don't leave it in there overnight, because I did that once with my other brush just about a week ago, and I ruined it. It came out really hard and stiff, and it actually turned white the next morning. So you just want to put the rubber brush in there, mix it up a little bit. You don't need to soak it. There, it's done. All right. All right, everybody, I got the mask on, and I want to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this uh, silver uh, Krylon Color Master. It's a metallic. Uh, silver metallic spray paint and I'm going to put a full coverage on here but then I have to let that sit for about 12 minutes because I realize uh, sometimes a five or eight minutes that I used to do wasn't long enough so I'm gonna let it sit for 12 minutes then we're gonna come back in with the paintbrush and we're gonna dab away and make a really cool design and we're gonna make our own silver leaf all right everybody let's get started I hate that sometimes the rubber glove, the rubber glove will get caught like that and float over the top of that. So you gotta be careful. It happens to me all the time, everybody, all the time. So we're just gonna give it a full coverage. And we're gonna wait. Let's let that sit, everybody. I'll be back in 12 minutes. All right, everyone, it's been 12 minutes. Now we're gonna do the final step, and then I'm gonna put it in the drying rack to cure till tomorrow, and we're gonna get it out and take a good look-see. Here we go, everybody. I got my two-inch nylon brush, and we're gonna do some dabbing here and make our own silver leaf. It looks lovely, everybody. Just lovely. I'm rinsing my brush and my alcohol. I'm gonna go put this up in the. Let me take this off. I'm gonna put this up in the drying rack. It's gonna be beautiful tomorrow. I can't wait to look at it. Let me bring you down for a closer look, everybody. 
I'm keeping my mask on because it still smells like spray paint in here. So with spray paint, it's more like particles where in the air, you know, where resin is more like fumes. So I want to keep my mask on for a while. show you guys something really quick before I put this away I've got my mask on my chin here real quick like a bunny but I'm going to show you something when you use uh, the rubber brush like I did like when I use lovely and you get just the right amount to the edges that you want and that you need you without using tape and stuff but look underneath here so I'll show you see that perfectly dry it's really cool it's like look see there's nothing under there the resin went right to the very edge and that was it but we'll look at it tomorrow and see what it looks like because it will uh, spread up pretty okay until tomorrow all right this dried just beautiful everybody except I do have one little dot on here somewhere can't find it let's see but anyway like I said this is just before this is just layer one so that little dot right there I don't know what that is but it happens Anyway, other than that, turned out really pretty, the silver leaf. And then uh, over on Doris's channel, we did the gold leaf. And I just showed you the results of that here. So, isn't it pretty? Turned out pretty, silver leaf, silver leaf. Make a nice background for my Snow Queen. All right, while I was uploading the video, I noticed that I did not uh, show you the underneath. So let me sneak this video in here really quick. Here she is, and here's the bottom. Look at that. Like I said, Lovely took her right to the corner. Not one drop of resin anywhere. And I didn't use any tape. Lovely does a lovely job. All right, that's it. All right, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon. Back in my studio.